How are you? So today we have another DIY request. Somebody DM me and asked if I could help them figure out how to achieve this halter high top situation. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first method we're gonna do is gonna be done in white. I have this tank top. It's by Papaya. Okay. And then I have this tank top, which we're going to use as a pattern. So I've worn this a lot and it has the fit that I want, the desired fit that I want. So I'm going to use it as a pattern for this. So I'm going to fold this white one in half. So I'm going to line up the front and I don't have scissors, scissors, um, I'm going to mark about half an inch away from here, that will be our seam allowance, I'm doing it in pencil because I don't trust that chalk I was using anymore. I'm just gonna pin it and then we cut. We're cutting. And now we have. Great stuff. The front is gonna have that triangular shape and the back is gonna be straight across. So we're gonna do that now for the front. You can always put it on and mark beforehand how you want it to go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess and hope for the best. So from the top of here, I'm just gonna draw a diagonal line. We're gonna cut that. So now we have this shape. Great. Then the back. I'm gonna fold it in half as well. On this front piece that we've cut, I'm gonna measure the length from the top to the bottom on the shorter side. Mm -hmm. 10.25 on mine. It's 10.25 on mine. Measure your own. And then on the back piece, I'm gonna measure 10.25. I'm gonna measure 10.25 on this end, the middle, and the opposite end. And I'm gonna cut straight across. And now we have our front piece as well as our back piece. Fun. I'm going to bind the ends first before I sew the front and the back onto each other. So I'm gonna cut a strip of fabric that is the length of the back piece by one and a half inches. And then I'm gonna mark one and a half inches all the way down. I don't know if y'all can see my markings. I promise they're there. They're just done in pencil. If you can't see them, I really need you to trust me that they're there. Then I'm gonna cut that strip. Okay, so that's gonna be used to finish off the back. Then on the front, I'm going to cut a really, really long strip of fabric. No. Okay, so this length is about 10.25. For the front, you wanna cut a strip of fabric that's long enough to finish off that end, as well as act as a strap to go around your neck and tie the top in place. So I don't have a precise method to determine what length you should cut your strip of fabric, 
what you could do is to take that length you measured and multiply it by three by four create a long strip of fabric sew it in place and then when you try the top on you could always reduce the length of the strap to whatever you desire it to be for me i wanted a really really long strap because i wanted to be able to tie it around myself so i cut a really really long strip of fabric the first thing i'm going to do is to finish off the end by binding it to the right sides facing each other We're going to pin those in place. So we're going to sew that in place. So this is how it looks. So we're going to fold this seam allowance upwards. And then we're going to fold this in half towards the middle. And then fold it over and pin that in place. Now I'm going to sew that in place. On the front, I'm gonna let a little bit hang off this edge. Pin it in place. The other side I've got it pinned down and then here at the top I'm going to make a small slit So that slit that we made at the top when sewing the other side allows us to overlap the two straps.
So right sides facing each other. I'm going to line it up. And pin it in place. So I'm going to sew those together. going to be done using this gray fabric it's a bunch of t-shirts I sewed together to make something that I absolutely hated I'm gonna fold it in half I'm gonna fold this in half I'm going to place it on top So the only difference between the shape of this one and the white one is that at the top I'm gonna cut a straight line so the top is not going to be pointed. It's a small one. So this is the shape of the front. It's straight. And I've cut two front pieces. Great stuff. I'm also going to use this back piece from the white top to cut the back piece for this top. Now I'm going to cut 1.5 inch strips as well. the straps, the back piece, and then the two front pieces. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do on this top is to sew the straps. Because I have multiple small strips, I'm going to sew them all together. Okay, so I folded it in half and marked the middle. So now on the front pieces. This is the top front piece, so the one that's going to be on the outside. And what I'm going to do is at the middle, I'm going to fold it like so. And then put it here. We made a mistake. <laughs> Still on the right side, we're gonna attach 
that folded. The only thing is we're going to attach it with this side facing up rather than down like we did previously. So that's great. We're going to face it up, pin it in place, and then re-sew it. So that's how it's supposed to look. Great, let's move on. Fabric that's supposed to form the lining. I'm going to place that on top, right sides together. I got it all pinned and I'm going to sew it in place. I used the hemmed part of the t-shirt when cutting it out so now all I'm gonna do is line these up and sew a straight line across just so that they are one piece So I've hemmed the ends in. I didn't want to have to deal with the sewing machine and the possibility of stretching. So I just hemmed it. And now we're going to attach the back to the front, right sides together. Okay, so we've got it pinned. Now we sew it on. Bye, have a great time!